Yo, what's up? It's your boy DJ Tyson bringing you a brand new DJ of the week, Mr. Socialite. Check it out. How did I get my name? It actually started off um, with the promo team. It was me and a friend of mine, Damian Mitchell. We call him Diddy now. Uh, we started off at the, as the Socialites. And uh, we actually got that from um, a friend of mine's girlfriend. She overheard us talking and ran downstairs. Said, hey, you guys should call yourselves the Socialites. So we went with it. Well, my partner decided that he wanted to promote another party more than our party. So I decided to be Mr. Socialite and there was no, no more D Socialites. And that's pretty much where it came from. What influenced me to DJ? Uh, for one, music is the most powerful thing in the world. It's nothing more powerful than music. Um, for two, I've always had uh, a knack for talking. So of course it started off with me emceeing and um, kind of hyping the crowd up with uh, the DJ that brought me in the game, Go DJ Mac. And um, when he decided to leave the game, he said there's no other person that he would rather leave his equipment with to kind of take it and you know keep going with it. And so for, I guess, the past year and a half, I've just been digging in and, and that's pretty much where all the inspiration and the start came from. Uh, expectations when coming to see me spin. Um, a variety. I like to go everywhere. I like to take you around the world. I don't like to just sit in a pocket. Uh, but I also like to cater to the audience. So I love to see um, a very diverse audience because then you get to go to reggae and you can do New Orleans Bounds and you can do techno and you can do house and you can do uh, throwback R&B and just do so much. But you can definitely expect a variety of sound. My favorite track to spin to set up the crowd. Um, unfortunately, I can't pick that. It has to be the song that the crowd loves the most, but Trap Queen just seems to be the song you can play after any song. And if they're sitting down, they're gonna get extremely amped. And if they're already amped, they're gonna just take it up a whole nother level. And I don't care if you slow it down, keep it regular um, speed, or even do it uh, house, they love that song. So I would have to go with Trap Queen. Only played uh, gig wise with turntables. Um, the, the guy, uh, DJ Mack, who actually brought me in the game, he, he was very adamant about me starting on turntables because it's easier to go to, to any other um, instrument from a turntable. And yes, they are instruments, even though it's just a record in the, in the table. But um, starting off with a, a controller sometimes it'll make it difficult for the actual feel of vinyl and a needle. So when you start with something that's a little bit more sensitive, it'll be easier to move to things that are much harder. But I'm definitely interested in uh, possibly doing some CDJs. Soon. But for now, it's turntables. Uh, where I'm spending right now, right now I'm currently uh, spending Fridays and Saturdays at Three Topia. Uh, which is a very uh, nice uh, it's a variety of styles, I guess you can say. Very open to any kind of demographic. Uh, but that's why I'm Fridays and Saturdays for right now in Lake Charles. It's your boy, Mr. Socialite. And you can catch me spinning not only in Lake Charles, but various events in Lafayette and across I-10. Fashion shows, the car shows, just different things. Um, you can stay up with it via my website, Mr. Socialite.com. Um, you can also follow me on social media. On Instagram, it's at Mr. Socialite. On Twitter, it's go MC Mr. Socialite. Once again, this is Mr. Socialite, and I'm your DJ of the week. 92.1 Kiss FM, DJ Tyski with the DJ of the week, Mr. Socialite. We out. Peace.